Who's there? Elizabeth? But I saw your body. You're dead. Gregory? No. No, you are not Gregory. Something's not right. Gregory, you are in danger. Elizabeth, what's the matter? Who are you? Oh. <laughs> what? The fa Did you see the way her face scrunched up? This is Mortimer and Holmes's dad. Uh... Do I want to be frank? I don't know. Oh, there's no point in getting rough. If you have a question, just ask me. Ask the hell? Words. Uh, you refuse to tell me who you are, but I will find you out. No one can escape me. What's happening here? My son is in danger. Talk. Wait, Asahel, is that like the name of a demon or something? Oh, <laughs> I'm sure it's not actually a servant. Maybe. Oh, maybe if I knew more about the Bible, I would know who that is. No, we're not. We're not trying to read his mind, right? Because that's like the one big thing. And he's like a really, really strong demon. Uh. Who is he? Damn it. Who is that now? Let's try to find out who I'm speaking to. Etiquette, if we ask nicely. He's the voice that Elizabeth kept hearing. Oh. You're the one who Elizabeth kept hearing in her head. You're the one who nodded her from inside, year after year. Who dare speak to me in that tone of voice? Uh, uh, she's been her whole life trying to escape from you. And it was all for nothing. No one can escape from me. Uh, I am the father of all. Founder of our house. Grand architect of the laws that govern us. And creator of he you call Gregory Holm. At this moment, yes. As well as all of his brothers and sisters. Damn it. It's Holm and Mortimer's father. But why am I hearing you through Elizabeth Adams? So that is how you see me, is it? Here, everything is mere make-believe. Your mind is working to give me an appearance that will allow you to see me. Okay. Uh, it sounds like he values etiquette, because he was like, who dares to speak to me in that tone of voice? Do I need to do another one in the same branch, though? We didn't get a name, although we got a name from the immunity. Azahel. Sir, rest assured, I have no quarrel with you. With all due respect, would you mind telling me to whom I'm speaking, please? I would not like to make a blunder. I see you're trying to be civil. I accept your ignorance. Ooh. And agree to answer you. I am the father of oh, all that's the same thing. Founder of our house. Your mind is working to give me an appearance that will allow you to see me. Okay, so forget about that branch then. We're not gonna get a name out of him. What did you do to Elizabeth? Minus one. Hmm. Elizabeth is dead. Yes, we know this. He's a voice. But tell me, what happened with the... Ah! That's enough. Do you think you can question me? Do you really have no idea who I am? Oh. <sighs> okay, we got double immunity now. Damn. That's... That's fine. That's fine. Uh... Is it you who- Your question is irrelevant. <laughs> Elizabeth was just a receptacle which allowed me to observe William's actions. But I- I didn't even ask the question! You thought it. <laughs> oh, he can read my thoughts already. Is he- is she floating a little bit? <laughs> oh, can I just ask this normal one? Whom do I have the- honor of addressing? You are just a fool, a mere child. I have no time to waste with you. I thought you were dead! I am not Elizabeth Adams. She was killed. Brutally. Who killed her? Tell me. I actually don't know. D if I say it's Mortimer... Wait, so he wants to help home right now, so if I say it's Mortimer, he's gonna want to say, Oh my god, Mortimer, I'm gonna kill you. Maybe? I don't know how much she cares about Elizabeth. 
<laughs> Whatever. I think Lord Mortimer is the one who is responsible for all of this. It was to be expected. I didn't think he would dare to, but he did. I don't know if he actually did. Did he? Don't quite remember. You are for Mortimer. No, 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 no. If we say that, he's going to get mad. Holm is going to die. Sir Gregory has been poisoned. What? Uh, who uh, dares attack my son? It would seem it was Lord Mortimer. William, that vile little traitor. Oh. He dared overstep our family rules. No member of the family will you kill. The dog, he will pay for this. I'm guessing what we're doing here is because we are a demon, but we don't have strong enough powers to deal with Mortimer directly. So I'm gonna get Grandpa to help me out, and he's gonna... He's gonna give Mortimer a spanking! Is that what's happening? That seems to be it. We've asked about pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, leave? Definitely don't want to try manipulating this kind of guy. No, Louie. No. The longer you remain in his presence, the more danger you're in. Just get out of here! Wait! I have a proposal to make to you. Uh, oh, if you say it like that, I gotta listen. I'm listening. William has to pay for what he did. He had no right. No one must ever attack a member of one's own family. That is the law. If you don't want to be involved in all this, let me enter your mind. When the time comes, I will just step in. You mean, like with Elizabeth? Elizabeth was not part of our family. She didn't get any choice. But you can't say it worked out well for her. What's to say that once inside, he won't stay there? If I ask my children to respect the rules, then I must do so as well. So, do you accept my proposal? Oh, this is hard because accept is the fun option, but refuse is the logical option. Ah, does he know that I'm his grandkid? I didn't tell him who I am. Uh, no one hurts family, right? Uh, uh, oh, this is... No, I want to be able to make my own choices. I don't want someone making them for me. Yeah, this time anyway. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm sorry, I I'd rather not get involved in your disputes. I understand that you're mad at him, but... I refuse to let you use me to get at him. Young fool. Goodbye. No! Come back, or you too shall feel my wrath! This might mean that we won't be able to win against Mortimer in the end, but I feel like I would rather have that than some random dude freaking enter me. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Okay, well, it seems like it was a good thing I came here first because we can still do the memory stuff. Yeah, for some reason, the fifth memory is now on top. <laughs> the last one should be the T one right over here. Uh, I was just thinking, should we look up what Azahel is really quickly? Just Google it. Is it some Bible thing or... Hold on. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. Azahel was the youngest son of... Zarula, herself either the daughter of Jesse or daughter of Nahash and stepdaughter of Jesse. The name means made by God. Okay, that didn't really mean anything to me, but does seem to confirm the fact that it's somebody from the Bible or some mythology. Is it this one? And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He knew I would drink it. The rascal knows me better than I do myself. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He trapped me. He poisoned me to stop me from being able to leave this body. He cut off all communication with father and brought his children here. How could I not have seen it earlier? He's going to absorb me. The traitor! No one can stop him now. Hurry, Louis. I absolutely must see you before it's too late. If you have managed to follow my thoughts, come to me, quickly!
You know, I'm not supposed to be on either Mortimer or Holmes' side, but we're doing things like saving home and emancipated. Things are getting really crazy in our mind here, huh? Tarot cards? Hey. Louis, hurry! He's coming! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... he's coming. Uh, doesn't he already know this? <laughs> I guess he can't see him either. Hmm... Just looking at this stuff at a surface level, we see that Holmes seems to be trying to protect me, and that Azahel, their dad, is definitely siding with Home. Kinda makes me want to side with them too. For no reason in particular. <laughs> He's here! I can... Can you see him? He's here! He's coming closer to you! Where? Louis. I don't want to just disappear. He's inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice, and you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with all this so easily. I implore you. Well, this was the thing that I was gonna go with in the beginning, right? In episode 4, I neither believe in him nor in Mortimer. Sorry, I'm gonna follow Mortimer. Ah, so we can't believe in home either way. Okay, well, all or nothing. The letter that we sent to whoever is this, uh, it's this message, right? I don't believe in him nor Mortimer. Look at yourself, Uncle. You're just as bad as he is. Despite being centuries old, and despite all the wisdom you should have acquired, I don't believe in you, nor do I believe in him. You can count on me to do my utmost so that neither of you will succeed in your plans. Louis, it's over for me. It's up to you now to protect our family. Find your sister, Louis. She'll know what to do. What are you saying? Find her. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? I guess Mortimer can't see me or hear me. <sighs> you will be Oh, he ate his soul. Oh my god. I restored order among the guests. I met Sarah de Richet's spirit. I reconstructed the sequence of memories of Sir Gregory Holm. I met Emma Hillsborough's spirit. I met Azahel's spirit. I escaped from the ether. I chose to serve only the humans. I'm surprised accepting Azahel's contract was not an alternative path. I'm guessing it is, but they just didn't bother putting it here. Huh. Oh. New levels. Four more points. If we do one more here, uh, do we have any books? We don't. We're still missing a few books, aren't we? I don't know where they are. We can't read them. So I have to go on assuming that I'm not gonna get any more points here. 
Anything else I'm close to getting level 3 on? Not really. The closest thing might be this one. 6. This is 7. Okay, well, keep going here then. 1, 2, 3. Not much else we can do. Mind maze. And we can't equip the lost books. If we had them! Yeah, so ideally, we would be able to equip three, and then there would be one more book left for the final thing, I guess? Oh, he's dead. Ah, uh, uh, I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? We won, Louis. It's over. He's dead? Definitively. Now the way is clear. At any rate, rejoice. Great things await us. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. Uh, you... but... I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. He was your brother. Why did you kill him? He never meant you any harm. Oh, Louis, I, I am exhausted. Let's talk about this later. No, Dad. No, tell me why now. I want to understand. <sighs> Stubborn as a mule. After centuries of trying to convince him, I assure you I had no other option than to do away with him. He would never have allowed me to depose our father. In the past, he had already opposed me, and sometimes very violently. He seemed to you like a man of peace, because you did not represent any danger to him. But I can assure you, he was not. With anything to do with our father, he would be merciless. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Home told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emily's in her room. That's a good point that Mortimer makes, though. Gregory never seemed dangerous to us because we never posed as a danger to him. He, so he never felt threatened by us. Well, I wonder if we can find the last three books somewhere. It might be in places that we can't access anymore. But can we look around the whole place a little bit first? Emily? Yes. What's oh. happening, Louis? You look... I... Ho home is dead. Good God, he did it! What do you mean? He warned me that Mortimer would probably try to get rid of him. He couldn't believe it himself. But we have to admit that he was right to be wary. We are in great danger, Louis. Wait, what are you talking about? When Gregory came to warn me, he assured me that we would be the next to go down. But why? Yeah, but why? But why then? For what cursed reason? I really don't know. I'm only repeating what Gregory told me. When I brought up the possibility of us running away as quickly as we could, Gregory dissuaded me. He thought that Mortimer would see it coming and that we would have no chance. I guess I agree with him. And now we're here. I'm not going to let him get away with it. There's two of us now, Emily. We can count on each other. Well, on that note, I haven't told you everything, Louis. This might be a bit hard for you to accept, so I wanted to warn you. There are three of us. What? What? Surprise, brother. Excuse me? <laughs> it's Emma, Louis. Just before he disappeared, Holm explained to me how to bring her back from the ether. We were pressed for time and... And the only body she could find was one of those cursed servants. Can you believe it? Emma, don't start, please. I didn't exactly have much of a choice. Be that as it may, I'm the one inside the body of a masked lackey. I had to deal with the most urgent thing first. We'll try and get you out of there as soon as we can, just as I promised you. And I'll make sure you make good on your commitment, sister. 
Emma, for the last time. She is better. Don't worry. Being a demon changes many things, and the prospect of getting stuck in the ether for eternity has opened her eyes. What about my mom? Can you save my mom too? Earlier, we made all sorts of promises, but we didn't make good on any of them. Ah, oh, they're sisters, whatever. We're all brothers and sisters here. Let's trust them. Well, I guess it's your decision, but I hope you know what you're doing. Are we ready? Can we go now? Louis, at this point, it doesn't matter what you think about me. You need me. I'm guessing you are well aware of what we're about to face, aren't you? Not really. No. That's just what gives us a chance, is it not? It's usually the only argument the Reckless have in their favor. Take heart. We're only about to confront an age-old creature that can read our thoughts and forces to act against our will and wants to devour us. <laughs> so what's the problem? If that is your attitude, I suggest we reevaluate the possibility of running away. Stop it. Let's all just calm down. Only a few minutes ago, it was just the two of us. Things are looking up. Our chances are only getting better. How do we get rid of him then? Killing him won't change a thing normally. He is capable of changing bodies. I know how to kill a demon. And the irony of it is, he's the one who revealed it to me. We have to make him touch the blood of an older demon in order to encase him in his mortal body. This is the only way that might give us a chance of dealing him a fatal blow. And I've got the Holy Lance. What's that got to do with demons? Christ was his father, believe me. If we get out of here alive, I'll have a lot of juicy details to tell you about the family. <laughs> this lance actually received the blood of an ancient demon, and it can work on Mortimer. Let's do it then. It's the gang, man. We got a gang going Are on. Are you sure you're ready for this? Will you be all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. Don't worry about me. As you wish. The... The servant! The voice actor for the servant suddenly got so many lines. Actually, I'm not ready to go downstairs yet. I haven't finished looking around. I accidentally walked into Emma's room, or Emily's room. So let me see if anybody else wants to Duke talk. Manuel Godoy. Or if we can find anything else around here. Amber crystals. Amber crystal in my own room? That I never got, really? Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, Monsieur Volner asked me to prepare his belongings in anticipation of his imminent departure, sir. His departure? So quickly? Oh, yes. He seemed to be in rather a hurry. Ah, very well. Would you know where I might bump into him one last time? Ah, if sir would like to say goodbye, sir will find him in his room. Thank you. Good information. Thank you. You're preparing for his departure by... <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Monsieur Johann von Wulner. Johann! Louis! Uh, I haven't the time. What are you doing? I'm getting out of here, what do you think? And going as far away as possible. Sir Gregory is dead. And in case you haven't grasped it yet, I am no longer safe here. If you value your life, you had better do the same. Hey, hey, wait a second. No, you... no, I haven't time. Good luck in the future. Yeah, earlier at the conference, he dropped the bomb that Gregory, Sir Gregory was his father, but nobody even cared because I guess everything was just going so extreme. <laughs> well, we got a nice little parting scene. If I were him, I'd be leaving too. I don't blame him at all. Golden elixir. Another one. Jelly in the art gallery. Okay, didn't really find too much else besides from a few stray items. I think we're ready to meet Mortimer here, and so are my sisters. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. What? Good. <gasps> are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Better in what way? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes. Let's get it over with. We got the spear. We got two sisters. It's all we need to defeat a demon father, right? Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Hmm, Emma. You brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! 
Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how <laughs> dare you! <coughs> oh my god. Keep going! It's working! Get him! Oh, Louis! No! A nail or the lance? The lance. <sighs> we know it's the right lance. No! Don't do it! It's over. You've lost. No, Louis! No, stop! Oh. Oh. <laughs> my son! You will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. So I'm guessing if we had the wrong lance here, it wouldn't have worked. He wouldn't have died. Which should mean that we have the right lance. Is that it? Don't tell me this is the end. As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military ascension until he proclaimed himself emperor. Whoa. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Remaining very popular, George Washington put an end to the various internal rebellions without violence and re-established trade agreements with Great Britain. Upon his death, he became a national hero and left an entire nation in a state of mourning. On his return to Spain, Manuel Godoy proceeded to give Louisiana up to France. Later on, he became the target of the Crown Prince of Spain, Ferdinand VII. The latter gave no respite to his mother's lover, going as far as condemning him to exile. He confiscated all of Manuel's titles and possessions, as well as those of his mistress, Pepita. Pursued, they ended up living out their last years in France in poverty and anonymity. The influence von Volner had over King Frederick William ironically ended up working against him. The sovereign thrust him into increasing repression until the end of his reign. Von Volner became the object of the people's hatred, was therefore stripped of his titles and land by the new king, and died in poverty to general indifference in the Prussian countryside. The Duchess, through her close ties with the Crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links with the United States on both the diplomatic and commercial fronts. She became inseparable from Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England, and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. His eminence was obliged to justify himself on his return from the British Isles over the letter he had sent to His Holiness. Unable to say more about the superior dark forces that he had spoken of, his mental health was brought into question. He was consequently withdrawn from papal state power and became preferable to speak politely about a faraway retreat when referring to his anonymous confinement in an asylum of Rome. Aww. On his return from Paris, Peru resigned from his posting as judge at the revolutionary courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months. So he did die. Oh, but that's it? 
I defeated Lord Mortimer using the Holy Lands. I defeated Lord Mortimer with my sisters. I brought back Al Azif to the continent. I left the island safe and sound. I got help from the Hillsborough sisters to confront Lord Mortimer. Are there really no alternate paths? I don't think so. They just probably got a little lazy in writing it all out. Uh, I wonder if the Hillsborough sisters being back is related to who I promised to bring back. Because if I promise to bring my mom back, but not my sister... Wait, that's the same thing. <laughs> if I promise to bring Sarah back, but not Emma, then maybe we'll get to see Sarah in the servant body instead. Because Sarah's also my sister, right? So all the dialogue would still make sense. But since I promised them both, maybe it just takes the latest one. Oh. And I'm guessing you can't use Sarah if she escaped the island as opposed to dying. Because then she wouldn't be in the ether at all. Oh. And if... If we killed Emily accidentally, then she would be the one that we would be bringing back here. Is this really it though? Because I think this is a bit of a disappointing ending. Very fast. I think it's partially because we didn't accept Azahel's help, but we just waved our hands around and stabbed him and he died and that's it. We could have done that before the conference. Oh, that's it. Mm, it's a little bit hard to say too much without having seen what the other scenes might be. I think I'll maybe... I'll play this episode one more time. Yeah, maybe from the beginning because I don't think it's gonna be too long. Maybe I'll try not being able to convince everybody to vote for Mortimer. But Home already drank the tea, so he's gonna die anyway. Not sure if there's any way to save him there. And maybe we'll try accepting Azahel's deal. And stabbing Mortimer with the wrong thing. Maybe that'll lead to more things, but mm, yeah, it just seems like... I guess on some level, I should have expected it because the council, it's always been a very entertaining product, but polish was never something that it was good at. And it's really, really showing here. I feel like maybe a lot of the things that we were expecting to have some sort of uh, effect by the end here didn't amount to anything. The letter that we sent um, on behalf of Piaggi all it amounted to was a line in the epilogue. And all the talk about al -Azif just amounted to a book that we could read as a manuscript that would give us a lot of points, but... There was something about how there was one page missing, so I thought that was gonna come up later on, but uh, not in this playthrough. I feel like maybe that's a budget constraint. Budget and time constraint? Even the puzzles this time seemed like they were thought of in a bigger hurry, too. Hmm... Bit of a shame that the ending kind of just deflates, especially because I was really looking forward to it after episode 4's craziness with everybody being my family member, with my mom being my sister, with my lover being my sister, and actually she has a twin who tried to sleep with me as well, and my dad being some Jesus incarnate. Yeah, okay, even just saying all this out loud, there was no way this was gonna end nicely anyway, but uh, I wish they just doubled down on all the crazy stuff and just kept going with it. I really wish they did. Yeah. Well, despite all the shortcomings of the council as a whole and this episode, I've enjoyed looking forward to every single episode of this game throughout 2018. Especially amidst things like Telltale Games closing down, I think studios like this that actually take chances to do new things, I really appreciate that they do that. And I do feel like this game is innovative on a lot of mechanics levels. The, the skill point system, I don't think it's perfect, but it's definitely an interesting spin on the traditional choose your dialogue based on whatever you feel like options. And the other thing I've really enjoyed about the council were the puzzles too. Not so much the Bible stuff because I don't know anything about the Bible, but the, the logic puzzles with the deciphering messages and whatever, that stuff was nice. Mm -hmm. Everything else, like voice acting and animations, I think everyone knows that it's not the best thing, but it definitely went into the so bad it's good territory. And I personally was entertained by it, although I fully recognize that you could probably call it objectively bad. Definitely not the sort of thing that everybody will be interested in. No. Oh. I guess I'll take a few days break from this and I'll come back and run through the fifth episode again. Just to try out some other choices, although I'm not really expecting any huge deviations. But I am really interested to see what'll happen if I accept Azahel's contract. So that'll be something to look forward to next time. Alright, see you in a bit.